Hi everyone, welcome to the first in our multi-part series on Introduction to Social Monitoring with Spiral 16. I'm Angela Lechtenberg, Social Media Manager at True Media, and in the first video of this series I want to go over briefly some of the basics that you should keep in mind during your monitoring campaigns and how the Spiral 16 software can help you achieve those objectives. So the basics here involve just a few considerations on what you should be thinking about when you begin monitoring or starting out on any listening campaign. Your goals should be clearly established as to what you want to achieve. And the first question to always ask yourself is why are you monitoring and what do you hope to gain from the insight that you uncover? Are you monitoring to track customer service issues or other important issues management um, objectives? Are you trying to respond to negative buzz or are you just trying to find out who's talking about your brand and find influencers to engage? Another reason to monitor is to monitor conversations taking place around your brand so that you can engage in those conversations. So once your goals are clearly established, it's time to think about where you'll find that information. What channels are going to be the most important priority in your listening campaign? How are people mentioning your brand on Twitter? What types of terms are they associating with your brand in conversations? Are there influential bloggers writing about subjects relating to your industry and brand? These questions will help you determine how to respond and how to become a part of these conversations. So um, that's kind of where Spiral 16 comes in. It can help you monitor not only social channels, but also the relevant web, including news and information sites. It's a comprehensive data gathering tool that monitors digital content based on a series of key terms of your choosing. So once you've developed your plan, you can start by listening. And Spiral 16's proprietary influence algorithm assigns influence to the most important pieces of data and sorts by sentiment, site type, and volume by day, so that as you're listening, you can find the most important conversations to monitor. This is a screenshot of the Spiral 16 main dashboard. It gives you an overview of the data collected and breaks it down into a series of gadgets, including lists, charts, and graphs that measure, measure particular activity. In the next few slides, I'm gonna break down this dashboard by explaining specific gadgets that are the most important when beginning the listening and monitoring campaigns. The first graph is the online volume indicator. It shows you when mentions of your brand or keywords are high or low. As you can see with this example, there are a few peaks and valleys. The peaks may represent a specific issue happening at that time that people are talking about, an event that's taking place, or a press or product release. The site type breakdown pie chart shows you what type of sites are showing up in your data results the most. Sites are broken down into the following categories, news, general, video, blogs, social, and shopping. In this example, the key terms are showing up mostly on news sites, very little in online video, and none at all in the shopping category. The next two pie, sh pie charts show particular sentiment of the term relating to your data searches or queries and assigns positive, negative, or neutral tags to the context. It's most likely that you'll see mostly neutral some positive and hopefully very little to no negative. But if negative sentiment shows up, it's important to pay attention to those conversations and address the issues being raised surrounding the negative buzz. The query breakdown shows which topics related to your keywords are being mentioned the most. And in this example of Missouri Department of Transportation, you can see that MoDOT, Missouri Department of Transportation, are showing up the most and a few of their other key query searches are showing up um, almost equally. The semantic cloud represents the highest usage frequency related to, again, Missouri Department of Transportation. And um, the bigger the word, the more it's used in context with the key terms. So it can tell you conversationally how people are talking about your brand. In the semantic cloud, you can pull out specific words, click on them, and search for just those particular mentions. You can also do a Twitter search in real time and find mentions of 
on Twitter relating to those terms. Websites and authors to watch show the top domains and the top influencers talking about your words and showing up on context in the URLs. Twitter's extremely high online activity shows it is a top influential site for these particular conversations. The top influencers are articles that are being written and the top influencers are ranked by site type and whether or not the content is positive, negative, or neutral. These online mentions are the ones to pay attention to because they can consistently show up as top influencers. So that's pretty much the basics to monitoring your brand using Spiral 16. In our next webinar, I will take you live into the system and show you how you can customize the main dashboard to include the specific tools and gadgets that make sense for your monitoring campaign and take you into Topic Explorer and show you individual URLs and mentions of brands and how um, you can monitor conversations. If you have any questions, please contact me. I would love to help you with your monitoring and to get you set up and to help you get familiarized with Spiral 16. Thanks.